How are you keeping? That's Cooey McCooface. Well, I've popped out for a, an overnighter. I've got the tent box with me. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be camping here or not tonight. But it helped me make my mind up. There's a couple of hills here I'm going to try walk. I might try doing both today. I might do one today, camp overnight and do one in the morning. We shall see. But I'm going to do what I think is the harder of the two first. A um, bit of murk around. So I don't know if we're going to get many views, but I've got all the um, camera equipment should we need it. But it was raining on the way out. It took a little bit of getting here, but I am here now. I'm glad to say that the rain is off. And uh, she's going to look after the car for me. Keep your eye on this. Right, come on, let's go. It's uh, it's clouding up a bit now. I don't know how high I am, but um, there can't be that much left to go. I don't know how much uh, elevation there was from the car park, but it wasn't a great deal. I think it's probably one of the shortest Munro's ever. But let me know if you know different. Anyway, we shall carry on. And uh, because if this all goes well, we're going to make his way back down and go and do another, which would mean we wouldn't have to do it in the morning. There's nothing to see. This is stuck down lock in, I believe. Statistics here. There's not a lot to see. There's nothing to see. It's completely clogged out. I think there's meant to be beautiful views of a lochane down there, which, from what I've seen on the internet, looks great. But there is nothing to see. There is no point loitering. I may as well get down, get back to the car, have a spot of lunch, and consider doing the other one. And that makes for a restful evening, then, doesn't it? The time is 20 past 12, so it's taken us two hours and 40 minutes to get here. With a bit of stopping and a, a bit of dawdling, but let's get down, see what we're like for time. We're going to be good for time with a bit of look two ish, and then we can think about. Can you see me? Right, we'll think about doing another when we get down. Let's get down. We'll pick this up when we get back under clag. Right, I've just set off again. So I got down about quarter to two and then just changed my t-shirt, had some lunch and a drink and it's just uh, quarter past two now. So setting off up the second of today's hills and it's markedly colder, but um, I'm all dry again and I'll just try to keep a reasonable pace so I don't get too hot in this. But fingers crossed it clears, it looks like it's clearing, there's a tiny bit of rain kicking around, but 
with a bit of luck we may get some views Ooh. okay as far as I can tell I'm at the point now where this path starts up this Monroe now and by the looks of it according to my reconnaissance work it's just straight up hill so we might as well get on with it let's go Oh, making steady progress now. It's a bit, it's a bit smelly up here. It's one of them hills. But you can see the views have opened up now, and that, uh, if I'm pointing in the right direction, that's where we were this morning. And this is where we're going now. So once we get over that bump, it's kind of a, a plateau by the looks of it, and then. A short walk onto the cairn with views, clouds lifting now. I think by the time we get to the top, they should have possibly all but lifted off the main hills. So we'll make our way up here and get to the top, and then we'll have a look around. Hanging around up there too long. By <laughs> my gum, that got cold. On my way down now, picking my way down nice and steadily. And uh, well, I'm looking forward to getting to the car. It's it's a it's an unremarkable hill, and it's even worse when it's driving rain and hail into your face. Anyhow, let's get down here a little bit further, and. Um, We'll pick it up when I'm a bit closer to bottom. Bit up there, won't it? Cracking on now. I'll soon be able to see down over the dam and, uh, and then it's in a straight line down to the car, but quite excellent views now. Now we've got under the cloud again. That's me all packed away now, and I mean I could stay here tonight, there's there's nothing wrong with it, but what I will do, I'll have a drive over to uh, Laws and the Ben Laws range, and I'll see if I can get in one of those little lay-bys with a phone signal, and I can give Mrs. Bowman a ring, see how her day's gone. Right, let's go find somewhere to camp. Well, welcome back, and here we are at the pitch i'm stuck in one of these little logging track cul-de-sacs on the way up to ben laws so i came over the top of the ben laws and then dropped down the road on the way down as if i was heading down to killing and then just pulled in on one side i've actually camped on the other side with mrs barman but that's already taken this evening but all's good i'm in a good place i'm just about to um, make some tea because I'm a bit peckish. I've chatted with Mrs. Borden. Everything's okay in that world. I'm all very I'm organised. I've got my dirty boots there. I've got my water ready. I've got my cooking. I've got my dirty clothes. I've got my clean clothes. I've got my electrics. A little bit of you know what. Um, so all good. Well, welcome back. Good to see you. 
I've had my, uh, my rice fusion and I'm just finishing off my last bit of drink. So all's good. Nearly eight o'clock. And well, it's been a nice day, hasn't it? It's been okay. It's been nice to get out and get a bit of exercise and do different ills. Good little camping spot. I mean, it's there's nothing to, to show you. I'll show you in the morning where I'm parked, but there's none of the beauty that, that was last week. That's for certain. I'm waffling now. Right, I'm going. I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night for the new.